Good morning, guys. Right, we successfully completed the Kraken. Exclamation point, hashtag Iron Man. Fantastic. Now it's uh, gear stripping again. Always naked time. Always. Okay. Cell sword back to the hole. Kevman Poe. Soren. Lullaways. My sweet axes there. God, we have so much good stuff at this stage in the game. Ended up hammer spec, right? Yeah. Tad unfortunate. Good morning, Barhonius. Good morning, Overlordy. It's a name Barb Hammer, it is. Early morning? Yeah, we're a little bit early today. I have to leave today, so the stream will be shorter in duration. So uh, trying to start a little bit early these last couple of days. That would not be a long-term pattern. Had a crack and go yesterday. Three tries, no changes in loadout between the first 12. Slight change in loadout between try one and try two. Try two and try three, no changes. Try two was a complete disaster. Try two was a perfect. Try three was a perfect success. We didn't even get good land on try three. It's just such an RNG heavy fight, man. I don't have good advice in that fight. Past what I've already said in the guide, which is, which is roll with the RNG punches and get frustrated about it. Uh, where's my great swords? There. Hello, kitchen. All right, we're we gearing. Presumably, I want to use this axe today. We have the respect, so we can respect uh, one of the guys for axes off the respect potion, which would be exciting. Fight some strats today. Oh, I guess I could update goals today. Goals are pretty clear. We want recruits. Finish Kraken. So it's Axe Duelist. Shrats. C H R A T S, I believe. Quitters never win. Good morning, Filthy. Good morning to you as well, Superbender. Thanks for the resub. Five months of subbing, welcome back. 
All right, uh, I don't actually wish to play the gear game today. I wish to just have my people in gear and move on. So uh, we should do that soon. Where's my profit? Profit's here, right? Okay. Uh, where is Sully? Get my hat. Get my dagger. Get my shield. Okay. What does the profitability do? The profitability heals the stamina of all cultists by 10. Except the cultist casting it. All right. Correct, our own little drummer boy. Unfortunately, the profit buff is assigned randomly, or rather, you cannot control who it ends up on, which means that you get it on people you don't actually want it on, unfortunately. So our profit is also one of our best front hand frontline two-handers, which means he never gets to actually swing it. Or use it because he's doing other things. Uh, all right. So what is the rest of that? We have an unplated harness. This is a light mail. Two twenty, two twenty, three thirty-nine, thirty-one, six more. Do we have a bone plating in the inventory? We do. So I have decided after fighting, I think the bone platings are better versus orcs and the uh, whatever this is called the. Uh, The additional fur padding is better versus uh, Chosen and pretty decent versus Unholds as well. Which is kind of annoying. That means they're different. I'm not sure what that means for specking. I'm pretty happy with the bone platings on the Nimble Mail. So I don't quite know what to make of that. Like, if we're fighting a ton of orcs, then I'm going to want bone platings. If we're fighting a ton of uh, barbarians, and I want the other ones. I mean, you might eventually get two armor sets, I'm not sure. I suspect for Ancient Undead that uh, I probably want plating as well. Good morning, Uchi. Isn't Linworm consideration worth it for WF? WF stands for... Senses what? Fatigue weight is good and nimble? I don't think you can do something like a fatigue weight is good on it. There's so much varied gear in this game now. I really like the effective hit point uh, tool that uh, Jarek wrote for me, which is you literally watch. So like, here's a range, right? Okay, here's the stuff he's wearing right now. This is his uh, body H effective HP, average effective HP, and head effective HP. And I can move a stuff around. So it's not a, it's not an ideal weight. It has nothing to do with the weight. I mean, it, it does the weight the HP total plus the weight of the armor plus the armor total of the armor is going to determine what that ratio is but rather than try to like write a rather than try to make a broad generalization of it's always 14 which is not then you just use it like that instead so play with it on your own seems pretty good to me 460 and 427 we would like to fix that in a minute warforged battle forged so what was the question then all right so let's see if I can translate your question then Question is, isn't Linworm also worth it for consideration on the Battle of Forged Brothers? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think you're actually hitting Linworms very often in melee range, in which case you don't need fucking Linworm attachments. If you're talking, are you, is the Linworm attachment is just 40 extra durability worth it? I think late game, most of the attacks that you care about do more than 40 damage, right? I think Ancient Undead, their pike attacks do more than 40 damage. I think Orc Warrior, Orc Warrior and Orc Young attacks do more than 40 damage, which makes me suspect that probably what I actually want is plating, since plating is going to be better than 40 armor damage most of the time. The exception, again, is with the, the Chosen. A, for the Chosen attacks, and B, all the Javelin spam ahead of time. So I think with the Chosen, uh, I want the this padding, which is going to make it interesting uh, gearing decisions in other playthroughs. 
All right, so I've got a bunch of really nice gear up here. 293. Wait, I thought I already gave all these people stuff. Where are the oh, I have nimble archers too. Sure. Okay. Four mega is too much. Yes. Problem with four megas is uh, you start to you're eight, you're supporting four brothers on your team who can't deal damage. What's the science archer build? It's on the build sheet. You may check it out anytime you'd like. Uh, so you lose too much damage running four megas on your squad. Fucking thing. All right. What if I get that updated in the background without screwing up too much? I like Macrum Reflect as a program for a backup program. But man, do I hate its notification systems. Yes, yeah, but I like to ding all my stuff for like 10 minutes. It's busy. Why do you prompt me to need an update and prompt me when you've finished the backup process and then tell me that you can't update the program because a backup is running? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me more. Would I suggest two or three? Yes, somewhere around two or three seems to be my sweet spot for Megas. L ult ultimately, late game, I want two. But uh, Megas are such high risk positions that it can be okay to put them in other positions along the way. 65. Man, this armor is so light. Probably that makes more sense. Okay. And isn't Lullaways like just an absolute stamina monster? 31 slap a plating on it it's only 31 all right you kittens fucking nimble as if that were reasonable all right uh they need hats Three oh two, three fifteen. Oh, we have a 316 hat, but right, but no one else can wear it, so might as well. Okay. Uh, you don't use it all. I haven't, I don't actually fight strats a lot, the real Kappa, to uh, pick up that armor attachment. We're going to be fighting a little bit today. I don't normally use it, but I'll be curious to see what it does. I suspect, again, that I suspect the bone plating is better than it. Um... But I am curious, like this armor really has no use in my world right now, like this stuff. So I wonder if a uh, fatigue reduction on that makes it palatable in some way. What do you use it for? Am I going to experiment with the Battle Forge and Nimble Bro? Maybe. Well, our big complaint at this stage in the game is it's been extremely difficult to actually get uh, reasonable um, late game recruits. So it's been tricky trying to do anything with that. More fatigue is better, right? Uh, no. I mean, okay. The number one trade off in all, like, the number one thing to remember about pretty much every strat strategy game when it comes to a decision is opportunity cost, right? If you choose one thing, you can't have chosen something else. So by putting an attachment on, you're allowed one attachment. Your attachment choices are between Linworm Scales for durability, uh, your Bone Plating for one free hit, uh, the Fur Paddings for reduction in penetration, and then Fatigue re Reduction, right? Our modest fellowship and then there's fans. another one too, like uh, the, uh, the Sigils, whatever, which make you less, less uh, vulnerable to like mind control stuff, right? So and you can pick one of those. You can only pick one of those, and there's five options. So in isolation, is less fatigue good? Yeah. In isolation, less fatigue is great. But is less fatigue better than, for example, bone plating? Well, that depends. Can your brother handle the extra fatigue? If the answer is yes, then 
you get advantage out of the bone plating if not. I think where the fatigue reduction is going to be useful is on the nimble builds, but even then it's an effective hit point thing, and I'm not sure it's going to come out ahead of the bone platings. So if you use it a ton, which is strange to me, I'm kind of curious what you're using it on a ton, and have you looked at the math for comparing it to others? Mickey, reduce silver for the sub. Welcome to the channel. I like the archer throwing weapon build. Yeah, really like it. Like it a lot, a lot. It's been it's been instrumental in turning chosen into from a painful fight into a pretty pretty solved fight. Nimble fame armors. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, compare it. Like, let's let's look at some of our nimble. Like this one comes to mind, right? This one is 137 armor with eight fatigue. I don't need to remove two fatigue from it. I'd much rather have a bone plating that reduces 40 to 60 damage the first time it's hit, right? Do we get an axe for Duelist? Yes, we have a famed axe while we in. Now we need to go kill Strats and turn in the Oblivion Potion to respec into that. Where's Care Bear? We're just, we're just putting pants on Care Bear. BB roster for the roster, not BB raffle. If you were looking for that, hopefully that answered the question about um about the fatigue attachment. So we'll look at it again. First time I looked at it, I was very unimpressed with the numbers coming out of that. Okay, so these are all Sack Brothers. Maybe the Lumberjack. We're kind of looking to convert, but we're not super excited one way or the other about it. And we're really looking for late game brothers still. All right, we have drunks in the party, or rather one drunk in the party, so we do need to uh, put all of our gear on people, which is super fucking irritating. Doing windmill today? Absolutely. I nuked homie chop. I did what now, son? I need to sell some of these garbage. We have so many garbage famed items. We should just be selling the shit out of these. Remind me when we get to a Citadel with a decent sell price to just empty my inventory of some of this crap. We have so much of it. What's Horse the Lumberjack doing? Waiting for conversion before we spend any time on him. It's too painful late game to deal with the conversion right now. In a spreadsheet sheet, he was nuked. Is that right? I want to believe, but I've been punished for believing in the past. Alright, so... Don't need double of these. Oh, he doesn't need a double dagger though either. This is his primary weapon. Hypothetically, that allows him to do something like run poison. Now, poison has seemed absolutely shitty to me so far, but I mean, what do I know? Maybe the goblin poison for AP reduction is worth running there. All right, these guys need knives. Almost done respecking. Use two adrenaline potions, or two uh, stam potions there. Why don't you have a dagger? We'll never know. Don't I have a rondel dagger? I do have a rondel dagger floating right, right there. Okay. So we're basically respect. You find the bone plating just eat an arrow shot or something dumb, but reduce fatigue attachments to my brother and heavier gear that makes more hits. Yeah, but it's situational, right? If you're fighting orcs. What you fucking eat is you eat an 80 damage armor swing. If you're fighting Chosen, you eat a single javelin and it's bad. I mean, okay. Like, I don't think you're arguing. I think you're specifying when it's good for you. And I think you're right. I think the lo it, it the value of it changes in the loadout you're fighting. If you're fighting goblins, then certainly a bone plating is totally useless. We did kill the Kraken yesterday, yes. All right, uh, what are we doing for, we're just running all the frontliners. Perfect, all the frontliners. 
All right, Kip Manpo, Archer. Chief Science Archer, perfect. And then we have Keep Kitten, Sunbeam. Is the Chief Science Officer, not to be confused with the Chief Science Archer, totally different. All right. Uh, yeah, I kind of did. I kind of was uh, asking for you to clarify where you're using it. If you're just using it as you find in general that you're fighting enough fights. Like, I, I'm so rarely fighting goblins or raiders at this stage in the game that it's like attachments that are good versus them are so unnecessary for what I'm doing, and we steamroll them so hard when we do encounter them. All right. Okay, so everybody's set up now. I can move on with our lives. All right, we need to look up the... Uh, hey, I wanted to see if Homie Chop was nuked. He's fucking nuked. No, he's not. Uh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Just not on the list. It has a limited display, so probably that what this means is some stuff hasn't been updated. Like, isn't Jay, isn't Jane dead? All right, I can maybe take a second to update that. It's a mod thing, not my thing. All right, let's take a look. Sunbeam, white chocolate, white chocolate. Didn't die, did die? It was white chocolate. I thought white chocolate might have died. White chocolate was our um, hybrid, right? Yeah, so white chocolate died. Soren's still here, Hats on Fire here, Cute Kitten, Lullaways, Cabman Poe are all here. I don't think Liquid is here. This hasn't been updated in a while, it looks like. I think Liquid is dead. Yeah. All right. I don't think Mr. Bucket is here either. He's not on the list. Okay, Orange is here. Dang Newbie's here. Cell Sword's here. Schmookle's here. Schmookle's here? Mr. Bucket and Schmookle are questionable too here. I think Schmookle and Mr. Bucket are not on this list either. They might be on the uh, buyback list, but they're not currently alive. Okay. If you guys want that updated regularly, then uh, you should definitely mention it to me. Our roster is currently 20 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 16. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it's wrong though, because there's no Dark Bowl and there's no Schmookle. So we're missing some people on this roster. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Okay. Maybe around a three headed flail on Care Bear. Also, good morning. Yeah, it's more accurate for sure, and his accuracy sucks. I've been trying to get away with the Stam until he finishes leveling off the quick long spear. Yeah, but I don't update that almost at all, Jane, because it's one of the things my mods do in the background that I don't do. All right, uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for. The Wikipedia, because I wanted to look up the uh, Oblivion Potion. All right. Let's take a look. All right, and this was crafting. We want Oblivion Potion. Oblivion Potion. Why do they move this around like every time? All right, Potion of Oblivion. Requires an apple. Check. Requires an unhold heart. Check. Requires a scrub brain. Fuck. No scrub brain. Uh, requires a poison gland. No poison gland. Requires a heart of the forest. No heart of the forest. Requires a petrified scream. Check. And requires a tendril. Okay, so we need to kill... All right, Shrat, Scrub, Spider. Okay. All right, good to know. Yeah, he did eventually die away, Chocolate, it's true. Okay. So we're set up, potentially to fight these unholds if they're still here. 
Uh, I wanted to mess around with the HP of our Nimble Brothers, make sure they're wearing the right stuff. So this is 465. This is 449. And where's Orange? Four twenty-seven. He's wearing too heavy of headgear, huh? Four forty-five. All right. All right. This is the light stuff. Eight versus nine, I think. Yeah. Go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're done playing Fashion Brothers long enough to move on. I hope. Thank fucking God for that. Right, there's unholds there, they are, and they are cruising for a fight. Alright, unholds. Uh, what's this? Just typo in the title? What's the typo? God damn it. Oh, ultra. Thanks. Fixed. Alright, maybe it's intentional. <laughs> yeah. That's what you should you should, you should definitely assume assume attention. Intention. I like that. Did we beat Kraken? We did. Iron Man. First slash third try. Iron Man. Just chant it with me, chat. All right. Uh, how do we want to engage this stupid fight? Start beating this guy up, I guess. You returned. Welcome back, Kitchen. Iron Man. Iron Man. Agreed. You have adrenaline? Yeah, it's Sully. So where do I want to go? Here? Here, 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 right? Go. Okay. These guys being on... Elevation everywhere is pretty annoying. So we're gonna run a tank in there. That lets this guy out, it's fine. We want Sully to get to, can I get to there? Two, four, six in an adrenaline? Yeah, I can. Sense, but whatever. <laughs> we have the dagger specialist here. I'm sure he will be a large asset in this fight. Dog armor, you bet. I mean, we're gonna have so many skins that we have no need for, so. Alright, he doesn't even have fucking rotate. I'm like, oh, I can just rotate the archer out with him. No, we gotta use somebody who does something. Annoying. Guess I can do it here. Time to do again, probably, but not here. I'm gonna wait for this guy to punch out. Uh, sure, okay. It's hard to care on holds, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to care.
Is it time for filthy robot ping pong over here? No. Cleaver, doing work. He's poison. I'm not even convinced throwing axes do more damage than the bow. Probably do with the 40% damage mod at close range, but. In this. It's fine, I guess. We can just do absurd amounts of damage as opposed to extreme amounts of damage, I guess. The dagger, bro. Yeah, move in just to get punched. Seems great. Wounding on holds, I know. Crazy, right? Let's play him for the dagger, bro. He is... I think we're past what's the plan. He is the plan. Against what enemies? The moment the test is orcs and uh, chosen. And apparently on holds. Look at that damage. Extreme. Traveling for business or pleasure? Pleasure. Get to go say hi to friends I haven't seen in a couple of while. You guys know Kevin from D&D. Uh, &D. I'm going to visit him for a couple of days. About well, three days. Well, three days. Tonight, tomorrow, full day, and then I leave Wednesday morning. Don't admit it like that? No, I definitely get to admit it like that. When is the last time I've taken a day off? Like, Tuesdays are not a day off. Tuesdays are admin plus D&D &D recording. Like, we needed scrubs, right? This is a scrub fight. Daily yeah, like game scrubs can be, um, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you this not from experience, but just, you know, to warn you in your own campaigns. Late like game scrubs can be surprisingly difficult sometimes. Rip poachers? I don't know what you're talking about, but that does sound. I don't think you'd want to rip poachers, so, but yeah. Here. I guess we are trying to get cute kitten up to 13. Yeah, Prop I mean, I was showing you what it would look like to lose two scrubs in the late game. This part of the guide video process, you gotta get the footage, that's all. Oh, I see kitchen, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, do we wish to be eaten by scrubs? No. How do I feel about hammers in this fight? Not so great, but I mean, I'm bringing them. Let's fuck it. Hammers, hammers. Okay. Don't judge your fetish. I mean, it's a pretty mainstream fetish. Eaten by scrubs. 
wish there was a trinket that made you immune to being eaten by scrubs, but there ain't. Don't know why. Why do you not have a trinket? Why do you have a trinket? I fucking, I hate. It's, it's unfortunate, flimsy follower, because you had a very nice set of sequence. You, you know, supported the channel, got a character named after you. It's not your fault. I hate your character. Hate it. It's like such a waste of my, my builds. Waste of a brother on this team. We have such a limited, uh, limited set of brothers available on this team because it is uh, the cultists. It's my daily salary. Personally, I uh, haven't worked it out daily. Three twenty a day. Twenty-seven scrubs in a forest at night. Three hundred and sixty is a lot in this game. No, it's really not. Oh, you meant the number of scrubs. Yeah, I'm gonna grab coffee. Back in a second, chat. Chat, sometimes you don't I don't even understand the world I live in. So uh just went out to refill my coffee, right? My wife's sitting on the couch and she's about two foot away from her laptop and probably ten foot away from her 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 PC, right? And she's on her phone with a you know, this the screen area of about that big. You know, it's an iPhone, so it's that big or whatever, but tiny little screen area, looking up things, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. Don't I mean like one inch over you can get like a mount anyways but that's not even the strangest part right that's just that's just kind of amusing so this fall we're heading out to kind of the central u.s area to check out uh the grand canyon which i haven't seen it's one of the thing one of the trips we're doing this year and uh she's starting to look at planning that and she asked me would i like to do a mule trip like actually riding a real life mule through part of the grand canyon my immediate response is, why the fuck would I want to do that? And then the secondary response is, what a story. Like, you almost just want to do it because the experience of it is going to be totally irrelevant to the fact that you now have a story of riding a mule in the Grand Canyon. So I kind of, like, now want to do that. So I'm not sure now. I don't think you could live stream it. I think the mule would. You can't get consent. It's just... <laughs> QED. I'll, I'll fire that one off right now. Uh, chat says, don't be an ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it was quick though. Yeah, it was quick. Thank you, uh, the amazingly Randy. What's up? Welcome back. That's a great name. That's a great name. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I kind of want to try it now. Yeah, I'm really looking for a Grand Canyon as well. Okay, so we're fighting scrubs. We should uh, we should do these things. Come, scrubs, engage. All right, I, I'm not I'm not moving. You guys, you're welcome to come attack me, scrubs. I'm set up how I want to fight you. And I'm not shooting your scrubs because I'll just accidentally kill them all. I uh, I like hiking. I kind of want to do some whitewater rafting while I'm there. Maybe 
I want to do some hiking. I want to see a number of the scenic, like the stuff there. I mean, the whole point is the the majesty of nature there. So that's interesting to me. I've got a couple of friends uh, living around the area, so it wouldn't be possible. Are there no, these are just 27 tier one scrubs. What in the actual fuck right now? All right. This is on you, scrubs. Confused. This is 27 tier 1 scrubs on day 367 or something. What are they doing? It's a fight where roundhouse swing could be useful. I don't think so. I think that is a myth. No fights are useful for roundhouse swing. I love donkey surround you. Yeah, I could see that being useful. I don't know, maybe, I mean, I guess mules are not donkeys. They're different, right? How did you get in there? Guard our corpses, we'll be fine. Yeah, mules are when you cross a horse with a donkey, okay. There's so many ass jokes to be made there. I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start. It's just a slippery slope. This is a slippery slope with almost no no benefit. I mean, as fights go to, to establish brains, this is pretty good. This is a good brain fight. Oh, I didn't want to end turn there. Boo. I wanted to make sure we got these guys. We get there? No. This was murder. Murder for brains. We're gonna lose that guy though. We could have had him. gone.
but he's not. Glorious. All of the brains, chat. Uh, next playthrough, we're playing as wider gangers. These are gangers. One brain. Perfect number. There's only one brain in all of the scrubs. Makes sense. They're low-level scrubs. <laughs> 